Good evening, friends. Today we react to a very interesting song. It's Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro. I love Ben Shapiro. I really respect that dude, and I respect Tom McDonald. And this collaboration, wow, should be fun. And if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, like my video, leave a comment. There you go. So at first, the picture, facts, don't care about your feelings, that's pretty true. And I don't care if I offended you, that's pretty true too. They call me offensive, controversial, it's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message cause I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't wanna talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect it. Where the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down, they all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. Let me pause here. We have to go backwards. We have to start again because I want to talk about a little bit. They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. They can yeah, if you say it, if you nowadays say there's only two genders, you're, you're, I don't know, you're a piece of shit. Right off the bat, you're a piece of shit because it's, it's biologically correct, but in the minds of the freaking woke people you're the enemy which is kind of stupid because uh yeah there there are only two genders you can't do anything about it you can dress up like whatever you want but there's only two genders and cancel my message because i'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world claim that i'm racist yeah all right i'm not ashamed because i'm white if every caucasian's a bigot i guess every muslim's a terrorist every liberal is right true all this race baiting shit nowadays and and all this white guilt so um in school, I was often asked if I, if I feel any guilt about what happened in the in the Second World War, and I always said no, because I personally um, didn't kill anybody. So why should I feel guilt? It was horrible. It was sad what's happened back in the days. Yeah, of course, a lot of people died. That doesn't make me feel any guilt because I was born generations after it. So why should I feel any guilt? And nowadays, it seems like that if you are white. You are guilty anyways, no matter what. If you are white, you can't say whatever you want to say because of the history. But most of the time, people doesn't realize that the white man is not the evil. It's everyone. It's fucking everyone. It's no matter if you're black, brown, Asian, white, whatever. We are all evil. But it's always shrinking down when people always shrinking this whole thing down to skin color that shows me how stupid they are i don't want to talk to folks who don't get it go woke go broke no hope it's pathetic pro choice pronouns pro love you're progressive but you ain't pro gun no one to protect it where the american flags at remember when people would hang those they've been taken down they all been replaced with blm flags or a rainbow sorry i have to pause a lot in that section so in in germany 15 20 years ago it was totally normal to hang your flag outside of your house or uh, in the window or whatever nowadays if you do this you are automatically a racist so if i would hang the german flag out of my window just because i like german the german tennis team the soccer team the i don't know team whatever i would be automatically stigmatized as a racist because people are stupid sorry i just wanted to find the right sentence to describe the situation here but the only thing I can say is that people are stupid nowadays. But if I would hang 16 pride flags out of my out of my window, everybody would would cheer. So for what? For what? Ain't rap, the same money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you You can cry and you can scream You can ride in the streets You defunded the police Now there's no one to protect you I hope I offend you I ask myself what we we'll been doing Let's just keep it real facts Don't care how you feel man If you want my pronouns I'm the man I'm the man who don't respect Let's 
swing at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison, I'm on television. Dog, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Cars. This is awesome. I have to rewind it. Man, if you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. This is true. When you when you look up Ben Shapiro and all his videos and these and, and, and the facts he tells on the internet into the world and, and people just try to destroy this guy because they they live in their own world always forcing their own narrative on other people and then is someone there with a huge following who telling people the truth. Clearly he is the enemy. You know, if you if you're telling your bullshit into the world and there's one person who fights against it, like Ben Shapiro, you become an enemy of the whole woke movement. As far as I can see it, the bigger the bigger the movement against Ben Shapiro is getting, Ben Shapiro will be always bigger because he has the truth on his side. He has the truth on his side and the truth always wins. You can you can tell the world Whatever crap you're believing, but the end result is the truth always wins. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns. Ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I That's true. Another one. Uh, most of the of the modern rap nowadays is all about money, cars, pimping around, and uh, and and hustling and, and and things like that. It, that. There's no real meaning behind it anymore. When I listen to to '90s rap from from dudes who really experienced horrible shit and how they lived through and how they succeed horrible situations compared to nowadays rap. When it's all about, look at my car, look at my girl, look at my, my fucking $50,000 watch and all the nonsense. And they, 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 they're building this, this, I don't know, this picture of, of look at my lifestyle and, and people want to live that lifestyle, but they can't. And then you have on the other side, the gangster rap was always, is, is always not gang banging and, and, and violence and things like that there's no real meaning anymore there's no real meaning anymore in this kind of music you have some artists with a really good message but the majority of it is horrible not a good message for any kid out there i don't care if i offend you i was put here to upset you you can cry and you can scream you can ride in the streets you defunded the police now there's no one to protect you And it does not surprise me that Ben Shapiro can really go with the flow, with the beat, and has nice bars in it. So that that this is so awesome. I can see all these social justice warriors, woke people sitting in front of the TV or smartphone or whatever and going totally crazy. And going totally crazy. So I'll play around with a little piece of plastic here. <laughs> yeah I, I i really can i can visualize them in front of me going totally nuts <laughs> let's just keep it real facts don't care how you feel man if you want my pronouns i'm the man i'm the man who don't respect you yeah. you mad you mad you mad i guess it's cool to be the victim well i'm a beat man 
You sad, you sad, you sad. You just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have. You mad, you mad, you mad. This, this is actually really true. So for me, it seems like that a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there have no real meaning in life. The only real meaning is pushing down their truth, their own truth, which is a lie, on other people and being offended all the time. I think this is their meaning of life. And on the other hand, they want that you tolerate them, but they don't want to tolerate you. So it's kind of, it's weird, it's hypocritical, you know. And every time when I see some interview with a woke person and you can, can, can see these shifts between you have to agree with everything I say and I don't have to agree with anything you say. It's kind of weird to see these woke people in interviews. So and when they when they realize that they're on the wrong side of the track, they always start to scream and getting personal and, and you know it's ridiculous. These people are ridiculous. You blame everybody else for every problem that you can. You yeah. sad, you sad, you sad. I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. This is this is another hypocritical part from from the left from the left wing and the woke movement and all that. So they always want to defund the police in Germany too. And um in 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 some cities very successful. But when you ask such a person, who do you call when your car got cr scratched from from I don't know, another car? What do you do if some some dude when it breaks into your home? What do you want to do? The answer is always the same. Uh, I want to call the cops. Yeah, but on the other hand, you want to defund the police. You want less police on the streets. But if something bad happens to you, you want the police. You run around with your ACAB patch and, and, and scream all day long, fuck the police and things like that. And all cops are bastards. And you hate them. But when something bad happens to you, you want help from them? You call them? You hypocrite? You freaking idiot? You know? It's, th th these bunch of people is, is just useless waste of skin. Let's just keep it real facts. Don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect you. So good. So good. So what can I say about this video? It's a lot of truth. It's all truth in this video. I enjoyed it very much. Because I love Tom McDonald and I loved Ben Shapiro. These two, a nice combination. And I, I really was not surprised that Ben Shapiro can actually do a rap part. I was not surprised because this dude can speak really fast. So, <laughs> what do you think about this video? What do you think about this song? The lyrics. I, I'm, I'm very curious what you guys uh, think. So leave me a comment and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.